Comics has enjoyed a television presence since the early 1950s with Adventures of Superman, which made genuine cultural touchstones out of the 1966 Batman and the late 1970s Wonder Woman. It's over, Doctor. It has never had so many of its titles translated on television at the same time before, and nowadays, DC shows are all the rage. New HBO Max series Peacemaker, a spinoff of James Gunn's The Suicide Squad, is the latest to join the list, along with Doom Patrol and Young Justice. Welcome to the Hall of Justice, headquarters of the Justice League. Oh man! I knew we'd be the last ones here! But not all DC Universe titles are exclusive to the HBO streaming service. The CW, for example, is home to many DC-focused properties. For this list in particular, we're looking at the highest ranked shows on the tomato meter. So you may be surprised to see the shows that we have here on today's list. So let's count down the best DC Comics TV shows ranked by tomato meter. Number 10, DC Stargirl. High school student Courtney Whitmore inspires an unlikely group of young heroes to stop the villains of the past. Starring Breck Basinger, Luke Wilson, Angelica Washington, Amy Smart, and created by Jeff Johns. Critics say a stellar series perfect for anyone looking for a little hope. Stargirl is delightful fun the whole family can enjoy. Hey there, bud. What'd we miss? Our daughter broke us out. Berman called. I did. I am forever. I am not finished. Yes, you are. He's weakened. Those who command the light. I'd act quickly. I wish this guy was toast. As you wish. Harley Quinn. The newly single Harley Quinn sets off to make it on her own as the criminal queen pin in Gotham City. Starring Kaylee Cuoco, Lake Bell, Alan Tudyk, Jim Rash, and developed by Justin Halpern, Patrick Schumacher, and Dean Lorre. Critics say a strong voice cast and an even stronger grasp of what makes its titular anti-heroine so beloved make Harley Quinn a violently delightful and surprisingly insightful addition to the DC animated universe. My bad. You looked a little like him. I don't know why you bother coming here. He's never showing up. <laughs> f off. Yeah, f off. But for the record, he does have a point. Just give me 15 more minutes. Joker's probably still fighting Batman. I don't know, hon. It's, you know, most superhero fights, they're not like. Uh, Calendar Man, how long has she been in here? Oh, hey, Ivy. 183 days. Oh, sure. You remember the incarceration date of porn clown over here, but not your own son's birthday. For the last time, I'm sorry, Debbie. Come on, I know it's June-ish. It's okay, Daddy. I brought you this cat just to keep you cozy. There ain't no plant life within 50 yards of poison ivy, you moron! No wonder your dad doesn't remember your birthday. Number eight, Peacemaker. A man fights for peace at any cost, no matter how many people he has to kill to get it. Starring John Cena, Danielle Brooks, Freddie Stroma, Chikuti Awuji, and created by James Gunn. Critics say John Cena's still in solid form in Peacemaker, leading a bloody good time that gives writer-director James Gunn full permission to let his freak flag fly. Are you kidding me? Did this dipshit really show up in full cosplay mode? This is the guy Waller's giving us. I told you she's f***ing us. She's not f***ing us. Is that an eagle in his back seat? <laughs> she's f***ing us. Hey, Scooch. Why are you in your costume? <laughs> costume. This is a uniform, and it's brand new, so I gotta stretch it out and make it more comfortable before we go on a mission. Maybe I'm stupid, but why would you even want to wear that on a mission? 
A bright red shirt and white pants aren't exactly conducive to lurking in the shadows. People see this uniform and strikes fear in their hearts. What people? The other people at the village people try out? <laughs> Why is there a bald eagle in your car? That's eagle. You guys ordered without me? Eagly is your pet eagle. Yeah. Is your dog named Doggy? <laughs> All right. Do you have a daughter named Daughtery? <laughs> Jealous of a guy's pet eagle much? Number seven, Young Justice. These teenage heroes are members of a covert operation team, Young Justice, starring Jesse McCartney, Jason Spisak, Kari Payton, Danica McKellar, and developed by Brandon Vietti and Greg Weissman. Critics say with its compelling storylines, well-drawn characters, and surprisingly poignant moments, Young Justice proves that these heroic adolescents belong in the league of outstanding superhero cartoons. Normally, Mazo would study and mimic your abilities during battle, but what's the point? You're all such poor copies of the originals. <laughs> so everyone keeps saying, it makes me angry! <laughs> Wanna see me channel that anger? Great, he's gone ballistic again. Maybe not. Mazo, protect your master, Priority Alpha. <laughs> Captain Adam. Anyone want to play keep away? Yeah. Oh, me, me. Access Superman. Ah. Martian Manhunter. Superman. Dude, the guy has no head. Don't take any chances. Superboy, are you all right? I'm fine. Number six, Justice League. Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, The Flash, and other superheroes join forces to battle crime and otherworldly threats, keeping a watchful eye on Earth from their orbiting space station. Starring Kevin Conroy, George Newbern, Susan Eisenberg, and developed by Bruce Timm. Critics say Justice League offers a surprisingly rewarding expansion of the DC Universe in animated form. <laughs> Batman, the Brave, and the Bold. The Caped Crusader teams up with several other DC Comics heroes for new adventures based on the comic book series The Brave and the Bold. Starring Diedrich Bader, Corey Burton, D. Bradley Baker, Johnny Reese, and developed by James Tucker and Michael Jelinek. Critics say Batman, the Brave, and the Bold is a thoughtful, brighter iteration of the Batman universe children and adults can enjoy. Wait, are you two flirting? Oh, always trying to declaw me, Batman. Which is why I must clip your wings permanently. Not if I collar you first. You are! You're flirting! Flirterers! <laughs> ah! I told you we should have taken his belt away. Shh! You two take the overgrown elf. I'll take the Batman. You 
chose the wrong career, Batman. We could be partners in crime. The perfect power couple. I'm a servant of justice. <laughs> but justice is always looking for new recruits. Can you believe those two? <laughs> Shut your cat box, pal. Number four, Watchmen. Watchmen takes place in Tulsa, Oklahoma, 34 years after the original story, after a white supremacist attack on the local police department, which leaves only two surviving cops on the beat, laws are passed that allow the cops to hide their identities behind masks. One of these cops, Angela Abar, adopts the identity of Sister Knight and fights racists while dealing with the decades-long legacy of the vigilantes. Starring Regina King, Jeremy Irons, Don Johnson, and created by Damon Lindelof. Critics say bold and bristling, Watchmen isn't always easy viewing, but by adding new layers of cultural context and a host of complex characters, it expertly builds on its source material to create an impressive identity of its own. You sure? He's not gonna talk sans motivation, but he was off the charts on the bias questions. Eyes dilated on all the roar shocks. Yeah, I'm sure. Like I said, bleach. Doom Patrol. Doom Patrol is a team of traumatized and downtrodden superheroes, each of whom has suffered a horrible accident that gave them superhuman abilities, but also left them scarred and disfigured. The members of the team have found their purpose through the Chief and have come together to investigate some of the world's weirdest phenomena. After the Chief mysteriously disappears, though, the reluctant heroes find themselves called to action by Cyborg, who comes to them with a mission that they cannot refuse. Doom Patrol, part support group, part superhero team, is a band of superpowered freaks fighting for a world that wants wants nothing to do with them. Starring Brendan Fraser, Matt Fomer, April Bowlby, Diane Guerrero, and created by Jeremy Carver. Critics say DC Universe finds breakout material in this iteration of Doom Patrol, thanks to a fully committed cast and the writing's faith in weirdness. Man, you must be one of now strays. You know the Chief? I do. Why didn't you say you know the Chief? Because watching you try to be effective is real distracting. Where is he? He's gone. Ground opened up, swallowed him and the whole town. Our housemate Jane tried to save him. Now she's gone too. Sorry. I just need a second just to oh, no, go ahead. Yeah. get this straight. How does a band of circus freaks manage to screw up so badly that they lose their leader and the whole entire town at the same damn time? Hey, Monday morning QB. I don't feel good about it either. Did you see who made the hole? I was busy not getting swallowed by it. Where's the hole now? It swallowed itself. Did you see anything useful? Yes, damn it! The donkey! What's the donkey got to do with it? That's what I'm trying to figure out, ass! <laughs> Number two, Wonder Woman. Diana Prince, a true Amazonian with special powers, fights off evil bad guys. In classical wham-bam comic book style, Wonder Woman catches people in her magic lasso of truth and uses her golden belt and bracelets to deflect things such as bullets. Starring Linda Carter, Lyle Wagner, Beatrice Colin, Richard Eastham, and developed by Stanley Ralph Ross. Critics say Wonder Woman is definitely campy at times, but series lead Linda Carter adds extraordinary grace and gravitas to the proceedings, whether they're tales of World War II intro or over-the-top 70s crime stories. It's a robot! Turn eliminated. Thank you. 
Well, blows the whole mountain, we'll go. The men are there. Victory is always born under sacrifice. Before we reveal number one, here are some honorable mentions. Black Lightning. As a younger man, Jefferson Pierce donned the suit of a vigilante and protected the streets of his city, but he believed he'd left those days in the past. He learns that life doesn't always work out as planned when his daughter, a star student who is determined to achieve justice at any cost, gets recruited by a street gang. In order to protect his family, Jefferson sees no choice but to once again become Black Lightning. Starring Cress Williams, China Ann McLean, Nefessa Williams, Christine Adams, and developed by Salim Akil. Critics say Black Lightning doesn't reinvent superhero TV, but it does give the genre a necessary jolt with real-world plots, scary new villains, and a star-making performance from Cress Williams. Dad. Oh, honey, it's, it's a misunderstanding, honey. I, I just need to go with these men and, and straighten it out. Everything will be fine. Jennifer. Jennifer. I need you to do something very important for me. Jennifer, I need you to be calm, really calm. Call your mother, tell her what happened. Be strong for your mother. Can you do that for me? Let's go. Swamp Thing. Abby Arcane returns home to Marais, Louisiana to investigate a deadly swamp-borne virus, where she develops a bond with disgraced scientist Alec Holland. After Holland tragically dies, Abby discovers the mysteries of the swamp and that Holland may not be dead after all when a mysterious creature claims to be him. Starring Crystal Reed, Andy Bean, Derek Mears, Virginia Madsen, and developed by Gary Doberman and Mark Verheiden. Critics say by leaning into the horror of it all, Swamp Thing swims deep into the trenches of this strange world and returns with a scary good TV show. But why? What is the purpose of showing me all of this death? They're warning you. There's danger here. For someone you know. Danger from the past. Returning. zombie. When overachieving medical resident Liv Moore attends a party that turns into a zombie feeding frenzy, she ends up joining the ranks of the living dead. Determined to pass as a human despite her pale appearance and newly listless demeanor, Liv forms a plan to resist her drive to consume fresh human brains by taking a job at a coroner's office where she can secretly snack on the brains of corpses delivered there. Soon discovering that she absorbs the memories of those that she feeds on, she finds new purpose by posing as a psychic and working with a detective to help solve murder. Starring Rose McIver, Malcolm Goodwin, Raul Coley, Robert Buckley, and developed by Rob Thomas and Diane Ruggiero Wright. Critics say an amusing variation on the zombie trend, iZombie is refreshingly different, if perhaps too youth oriented to resonate with adult audiences. Eesh. Yeah. Who's laughing now? What are we? A hundred yards to the pen? Shh. 
should have used less club. Yeah, no more than an eight iron. Ladies and gentlemen, this golf ball gun means we're now investigating a murder. murder. Yeah, no duh. What? You don't own the word. You hungry? Not really. Kind of thirsty, though. Finally, number one, Batman Beyond. A new Dark Knight protects the Gotham of the future. Starring Will Friedle, Kevin Conroy, Chris Summer, Lauren Tom, and created by Bruce Timm, Paul Dini, and Alan Burnett. Critics say, a remarkable step forward in the Batman mythos, Batman Beyond's new black-winged, red-blooded Batman on display Saturday mornings will have you pouring a steaming mug of coffee and shouldering aside any nearby children to catch all the fresh fun and action. You're showing me everything. Well, friends, that about does it for us. Be sure to stay tuned to the Rotten Tomatoes channel for more of the entertainment content that you love. Until next time, I'm your host, Naz Perez, and we'll see you back here for more Top 10s on the Rotten Tomatoes Countdown. <laughs>